changing gears. Let's take it over to the LA Auto Show where auto industry expert Nick Miles is standing by. Nick, what are the hot trends this year? We came off at the beginning of the week with some interesting news that General Motors was discontinuing six different passenger vehicles. Uh, as that news hit the LA Auto Show, which started two days later, we were seeing the real trend is going away from passenger cars and Americans moving in huge numbers to SUVs. Are there any automakers that are just really stepping it up? You know, what's stepping up is the tech and the luxury aspect. So there are really no bad cars in the United States anymore. Uh, Lincoln has a brand new uh, Aviator. The Aviator is a step below their Navigator. But the tech on the inside is what really is wowing everybody. Apart from this being a plug-in hybrid, you don't use a key anymore. You use your cell phone. Uh, the vehicle can automatically park itself at just a push of a button. It finds the parking space and puts itself into the parking slot. It does reverse and it does drive and it will do all the steering and braking. You're seeing that sort of technology. We're stepping towards the autonomous. Huge leaps in the technology. The BMW X7 actually monitors you and sees that you're paying attention to the road. And if you're not, the vehicle will remind you. I'm hearing about this Hyundai eight-seater. What are you seeing? Yeah, so, you know, Hyundai's been one of the favorite brands in the United States, and they have that 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, and they're cashing in on their success with bringing out what is really the crown of their entire SUV lineup. It's called the Palisade. It's an eight-seater. It really has all the needs of the family, including, like, 16 cup holders, USB ports, six USB ports, and wireless charging in all the rows. So. It's giving everybody what they need, connectivity to the world. A lot of these cars, even down to the Fiat 500X, which is refreshed this year, are also coming with Wi-Fi as standard in the vehicle. So you're seeing connectivity and technology along with everything that a family might need for transportation. Tell us more about how automakers are using technology. Yeah, so let's, let's talk about some of the big jumps forward in technology. There's a new company called Rivian here. Uh, Rivian are showing an electric SUV and an electric pickup truck. It'll do 400 miles plus on a single charge. They are an American design company, American built. They're going to use an old Chrysler factory in normal Illinois to build these vehicles. Uh, they're saying the vehicles are, are available in about two and a half years time. They're sort of the Tesla fighter. Uh, these vehicles, they're taking a thousand dollar deposit right now and they look like they would be really roadworthy and fun off-road vehicles. We're also seeing a lot of SUVs coming out which have of uh, the things that help families and help people get around um, and for safety. So, for instance, we've seen all the news stories about uh, children being left in the back of vehicles. Uh, Nissan, with their new Murano, has a system where if you leave something in the back seat and you walk away from the vehicle, it will sound the lights and the horn to let you know, by the way, you left something in the back seat of the vehicle. And I'm finding like electronics in cars are being brought in from the home, a lot of inter entertainment systems, a lot of cars, uh, trucks and SUVs that have things that have been missing over the past, like entertainment systems, uh, big screens in the front now. So making a huge leap forward. And then BMW showing what they're saying is gonna be here by 2021, which is their new iNex, which is a fully autonomous vehicle. The one question I get asked, Angie, more than any other question is, when will the self-driving car become a reality? And BMW are showing their first self-driving car. The steering wheel and the pedals will fold away if you don't need them. If you do need them, them, they'll pop out and you can drive them. And it's even got cool technology. Uh, you can write on any surface in the car, on the armrests, on the seats, whatever. It will recognize what you're writing. It has sensors in the seats. And for instance, if you make a musical note, it'll turn the music on and then you can have an imaginary volume knob. You can just rotate your hand and it'll automatically turn the, the volume of the music up. So th that's the sort of step of technology that we're seeing. Thank you, Nick. We hope to have you back. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.